Slap Shot Vintage here. We are shooting a video for the YouTube channel today. We are uh, Kieran is at my house for the first time since we've uh, Hello. started working together, and uh, we're going to do a quick video for you today of going through my personal collection, the jerseys I own. Kieran picking out a few of his favourites, me talking about a few of my favourites, and talking about the ones I want to buy in the near future. Yeah, so Dan, the first one I've got is a what probably looks like a rip off of the Bruins the logo. Bruins. The um, Bruins. Bruins. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, for them eagle-eyed viewers, curling on the back. Um, do you want to explain this one? Because I know a little bit about it, but if yeah, you explain was, to them what it is. It was mine. It is what well, is mine from when I used to play in Canada for a little while. Well, for a good few years. I played for a team for the West Carlton Warriors, which is why the W. And yeah, they ripped off Boston. Essentially, um, but it looks—it's a nice jersey, and it's actually if you hold it, it's—it's it's, it's good quality. It's a good quality jersey. I mean, it's—I used to play in this when I was twelve. And it's, Better than it's, the fanatics ones, these days, anyway. Yeah, I mean the logo is printed, but, it's but I still, mean, so are the name and numbers. So but even numbers. then, it's kind of like—it's a decent graphic. Um, what is really annoying about this jersey is like every other year apart from this, I've played in number five, and the only jersey I've got from my playing days. Well, is rumors are. Five. I don't want to start any rumours, but I'm going to. Um, Bobby Orr saw you in the black and gold of oh, Boston, <laughs> wearing number four, and Bobby Orr was like, "Curling something special. I'm going to wear that instead." So yes. as we know, Danny's about 76 years old. Yeah, I just stayed really well, uh, anti-aging cream. Um, but yeah, so that's my one, um, which is why I've still got it. Knock it out. The next two kind of unintentionally go hand in hand. So you obviously got the flames. If I'm not wrong, they won the cup in this one. Yeah. With yeah, um, yeah. Larry McDonald, is it? Larry Tash? Yeah, McDonald's. Yeah. Um, and then Islanders with aftermarket numbers, kind of custom job 22, which is quite OC. Um, but these are both very old, which is quite scary that they're, they're probably late 70s, early 80s. Um, so it's like a safe guess would be early 80s. Yeah. Which is quite scary because that's pushing 50 years. Yeah. 70s, 50 years. So yeah, this is these are over double as old as I am basically. Um, just you know, some people might not like them because they're, they're a bit older. The quality's not as good, but it's, it's hockey history, isn't it? So and the got, price, the price I paid for them, it was impossible to oh, say. Yeah. I think they were both this, very cheap. This is probably about the time Islanders won. Was it four in a row? Four in a row, row, yeah. So obviously, they were a, I'd say almost a forgotten dynasty. A lot of people, people, some people, a lot of people forget that they were that successful. I think when you think of Dynasty, people tend to think Blackhawk, Oilers. Oilers. So this next one is, you know, probably no one else in the UK has this. It's a another one you're going to need to explain. A Canadian AAA Explorers with what looks like some board stains on there, and everyone's favourite number, eight eight on the back. Probably an Eric Lindros fan now, or I would argue probably a Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane is probably dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, do you want to explain that one? Um, yeah, this them again. one was given to me by my brother, who I think, I can't remember if, if it was when he was playing for South West or England, he played against this team, the Canadian AAA Explorers. Um, and this is a game worn because they traded um, jerseys after the game. And he gave me, well, he gave me both of them actually. I've got this one and I've got it in blue. Um, but they're, they're surprisingly nice, like you say, I don't think it's like many people that have these. I don't even think you can buy these probably. No. Um, this is purely a game worn from a team, obviously a triple A. Triple A team from Canada that were at an international tournament. Uh, my brother traded for it and he you knows I collect jerseys and he bounces around all over the place. So, he, so I've, I've got To those who don't know, me for example, do you want to quickly explain what triple A is? Is that like top division? Top division junior hockey, but you can play up until a certain age yeah, until you go semi pro. Um, triple A is I'd rather play AAA for the last season in Canada. It's the highest sort of league you can play in. So that's probably age. the league below, like the Q, QJ, whatever. Something like that, I'd imagine. I mean, I don't know the, the full ins and outs of it to comment exactly how it is, but I know that if you're playing AAA hockey, that's where you need to be to have any chance yeah. of really getting yeah, anywhere yeah, professionally. Yeah. Very good. So the next two almost pains me to hold, because we're apparently rivals, but you've got two Sheffield ones. I do. Obviously, this is your girlfriend. That's my girlfriend's, hence why it's substantially uh, smaller than the others. Pretty cool, we'll put some close-ups, but this is obviously like a Halloween special. 
got some ghosts, some bats. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, hard to get hold of those ones as well because yeah. my, my uncle wanted one and by the time he went to buy it, they're all gone. And then we've got a the yeah, challenge cup one. Challenge cup one, which I love jerseys with the, the cross. Mm. I don't know what you call it. Cross centre stripe. Yeah. Diagonal stripe. Uh, obviously, <laughs> black and orange flies, colours, you can't go wrong. Then they both have your surname, but, but the name of your my brother. My brother. Mm. Wait, I'll let you talk about that. Yeah, so they're both let's say, familiar surname on the back, but they are, that's my brother because he played for the Sheffield Steelers uh, last season. Um, that's obviously the jersey they wore when they won the Challenge Cup, which is good. So the first season of professional hockey. Great photo of him, in it. Very good photo. We'll put it here. We're allowed. Yes. I imagine that will be allowed, I'm sure. Um, and then, yeah, that was the Halloween special that, like I say, we'll give you some close ups of this one. That is got. pretty cool. Even, I like how this, even the sponsors are. Coloured out. Coloured out. Um, it's got some spooky font going on on the back from the name and little ghosts and ghouls and everything in the actual jersey that you can't really see necessarily from far away, but the second you get it close, yeah. you can It's you almost can like really the light catches it, isn't but it? But I mean, they are they're the, the same jersey the template. Mm. They've just changed colours. and. Well, this one's good as well because it's got lace. You know what I feel about lace yeah. on the neck. So good. Yeah, I haven't noticed that one hasn't got lace. Yeah. It might have, if that's a ladies, it might have. No, it hasn't. Uh, because sometimes if they're ladies or kids they don't put the ladies in. But yeah, so those those mean quite a lot to me because it's my brother's first season of professional yeah. hockey and um, he did quite well in this one so I bought the right one. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was between this or the home but I thought this one is way nicer that is than the home. This was by far the one I saw and was like, yeah, I kind of want that one. So the next one is Canucks, Again. Orca, whatever you want to call it. There's a few Canucks ones knocking about in this room. Um, <coughs> Captain Nasland. Um, I don't know what it is about this jersey. Just, I'm a big fan of it. I think I prefer this colour scheme to the the green and blue. Um, I don't know why. I'm not normally a fan of silver, but I think the silver works well with the black. The outline of the logo. I like extra patches, so you've got the stick and ring um, on the shoulder. The, you know, the names and numbers are stitched well. You've got basically four different layers, you've got a top kind of grey, mm. then you've got burgundy, then you've got a different white, and then you've got like a, I don't know what you call it, almost white and silver stitch on it. Don't know, just, that's a jersey I've always liked, and I know you got that off of me, if that was yeah. probably a size bigger, you would have kept probably, it. Probably, yeah, I probably would have kept it, but. I mean, it is, I like the green and blue, because uh, obviously that's the original colour scheme, but I would love to see a third yeah. back in that. Because obviously the Canucks one of these teams that have sort of an identity crisis, they don't really know what colour scheme they want. Well, I think if you look at it, probably like if you look at it, rebrands by average year type thing. Canucks have Canucks, definitely Canucks, done the most. Canucks are because they've obviously got this, they've got that, the blue and green, green stick and ring, flying, flying skate, flying skate. <laughs> they need to that with work. that that with the the red um, like fade. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite a fan of that, to be fair. I agree. No, I'm not. <laughs> Again, it's ugly. I like ugly stuff. So, another one I picked out is kind of early NHL years for Jets. Obviously, they were in the WHL for a good few years before they joined the NHL. Got a nice goals for kids patch. We'll put that on to close up. Um, Ty Domi on the back. Obviously, quite a hard man. Bit of a Brad Marchand getting your face, you know. Well, Brad Marchand's definitely got a lot more hockey skill, I would argue. Yeah. <laughs> that was part of the time, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. Ty Domi's son now plays um, Max Domi. Um, make it that what you will. I know he's not the most liked player. Oh, I think he yeah, is. I think he's one, of, he's one of these players, most teams have one where, if they're on your team, you love them. Yeah. If they're not on your team, you hate them. Um, and, uh, yeah, just a, a very nice jersey, I think. Um, they kind of bought it back as the Heritage Classic, but the reverse, so the blue with the white. And, and the slightly different logo. Slightly different logo, but... Um, but that actually became that. The what? That, when they got moved, became that. So that was the last jerseys Winnipeg had before the move. And then, obviously, they moved to Arizona. That. Oh, and then, obviously, Thrashers then moved back to Winnipeg. It's weird, I just... Yeah. <laughs> It confuses me that you can just move teams. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. It's Only unheard. in American sport. It's you can't like, imagine West Ham. It's, it's been done once in, in football when Wimbledon moved to MK Dons. Why? Outrage. <laughs> we won't speak about that because that's dodgy. Yeah, outrage. 
The last one on the rail that I get out, there's a few around here I'm gonna talk about, but we've got the LA Kings first ever, it's not the first ever jersey, but it's the first ever Kutsky, logo, Kutsky. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, they started with purple and yellow, um, they weren't very good around then. No, they weren't, um, very, they weren't the best. That's often the case for teams like this, uh, unless you're Vegas. Yeah. What, I, a lot of people hate it. Oh, I love it. Dan loves it, which I, which surprised me, because it's quite out there, but there's That's a whole story where they changed it either the year Gretzky went or the year before. Mm. So they changed it to the Chevy logo, which we'll put a photo of here now. Um, and it became quite cool. There's a whole story about Snoop Dogg starting to wear the jerseys, NWA starting to wear the caps, because it was quite like a cool black and grey and white colour scheme. Uh, and this yeah, wasn't yeah, this wasn't very street <laughs> smart. Um, and obviously then they went to kind of a mix up of the two with the black, silver, and purple mm -hmm. after the Chevy logo with the shield on the front. Which you, well, I like. I'm big I like that. I like that one. Uh, it's almost like that, but just black and purple and silver, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And now they're with the weird kind of triangle. I don't like that. I'm not. No. Um, but that to me. Do you think that's just... their best ever then? Do I think it's their best ever logo? Not necessarily. Is that my favourite LA Kings jersey? Yes. And I think it was my favourite LA Kings jersey, yes, because I'm a real sucker for a team that has a unique colour scheme. Yeah. And like no one uses purple. No league. one uses anything like that in the league. The only and has never has a cop from LA. Glasgow yeah. slash Brayhead clan. Yeah. But obviously they're nowhere near the um, National League. So. And obviously it's the LA colours. Is this what the Lakers play in? Oh yeah, no, good point. LA good teams LA often Lakers, play yeah. in, in, in those colours. And that's why originally they came in in those colours. Um, but yeah, I just think it's unique, and I love unique jerseys. So these next two I'm going to talk about, they are your wall of fame, let's call it. They're my favourite ones. My f uh, I say my favourite ones. The ones I think that look the best on the wall go on the wall. Uh, so, I, so, I'll get this one off because it's not in shot, but... Yeah. If my little legs let me. Um, this is probably my favourite Sens one, to be fair. Um, you know, barber pole, whatever you want to call it. But I like the use of alternate logos. Uh, it's got a pretty sick um, shoulder patch there. What says Ottawa Senators? Senators do Ottawa. Which is, I imagine, Ottawa French Canadian. Yeah. French. Yeah. French. Um, pretty nice jersey. I love jerseys with off white. It was used as an alternate for a long time. For a long time. And then they used, for the Heritage Classic, they basically used that colour there as like a cream base with the black stripe, which was. The white one of it is it, it's That's impossible incredible to and also impossible to find uh, in my in my experience. But yeah, so that one's nice. I just need to. Uh, there's a few bits I need to do to it. I want to iron out the yellow a little bit because it's a bit of a crease in the bottom of it. But it's yeah, I'd agree with you. It's probably. My I do like the one favorite. you're after as well. We'll talk about that later. The yeah. one with the V vector at the bottom. Yeah. And then we'll talk about. I'm. Um, I'd say one of the top five in the league ever. Yeah. Um. It's like they're bringing it back as a, an alternate, but technically they're home now. I think it's going to become the main. Yeah, yeah there's rumours of them to be going leaving. back to the Kachina logo. There's rumours of a lot of teams having a um, a throwback jersey to the past. So oh, we're doing it as an alternate. Um, so obviously Ottawa are apparently rebranding re entirely to black. But what I'd like to see if. Coyotes did bring this back full time. That they go back to the green as an alternate. Um, yeah, we do want everything kept the same on the green. With the, with the cactus at the bottom and everything. Yeah. You would. Yeah. Okay. Because it's so ugly, that it's, it's good. Certainly, a uh, I'm really not a fan of the Coyotes logo at the minute. I think it's. You say the ones where it's good, but it's knowing so what they had, they just they basically I, again it's. As I said with the Kings one, it's so unique, yeah, so yeah. only them. And then when they change it to what they change it to, it just sort of you're a bit like, oh, but you had something that was more unique, more your identity was stronger. In my opinion, the Coyotes' identity was stronger when they wear those. Oh yeah. And then when they wear what they have. And this mind. is like, if we're looking at it from a business perspective, this is a jersey that non-Coyotes fans are going to want. Yeah. Because it's so iconic. I would not buy a current Coyotes jersey. Oh no, I just wanted that one. I mean, I'll buy it in white, but I know we have a disagreement on it. I prefer it in black. Well, yeah, I no, I, that's one of them ones where I'm happy to... I prefer it in white just because I think it looks nice. Mm. I think the... the what we call it? 
burgundy pops a bit more with the white. Yeah. But again, a black's fine. Talking of black and white, we'll talk about the Canuck flying skate. This was obviously, we just talked and we think it was home or away. We think they kind of. I can't of remember if this was before they switched from yeah. white home to white away. I can't 100% remember. So they just call it the black flying skate. Black flying skate, spaghetti skate, whatever you want to call it. I don't like calling it that. Um, this one I prefer black it's great, to white. Yeah. Um, what I like about when it's black is the yellow comes out a lot more. It definitely pops more, and I like I like it because obviously before there was this actually this is the second iteration of the color scheme because it was more of an orange and marigold before yeah. they changed it to red and yellow. And I think uh, it's an unpopular opinion with some people online, but I prefer the red and yellow because I think it looks cooler yeah. than the orange and marigold. But that was a, I think this era was Pavel Biora as well. Wasn't yeah, it? so not the red Pavel Biora. Red and yellow. Went to the finals wearing that. Yeah. 94. Lost to Mark Messi. Mark Messi in the Rangers. Yeah. Uh, um, which is a shame because kind of, Vancouver are quite good at losing cup finals, which is annoying. And rioting afterwards. And, uh, yeah. Do you want to grab this one down? Just yeah. Just a little bit out of shot. So, this one, if we're talking top five all time, I would put this comfortably top three. Um, I got, we got a lot from America probably about two months ago now. Did you ordered this one? You I asked I you this specifically one to find it for me. Yeah. In a medium meal size. And then I, I don't know, I remember it. This was kind of just as I was getting you bought it. One. You said I bought one, but it's a large, I'm keeping it. So I've got yeah. to <laughs> medium. And then you sent me and I was like, no, oh, that's, that's something special. I think it's the, the white against the blue, very icy. Yeah. Got the sick arm patch, which, which is, is like huge, by the way. Yeah, They're way bigger than I thought they were when I first when I saw it online and when I saw it in person, I didn't realize how big they were. Over to the past, the neck, like the sweatshirt neck, is yeah, it's just... the uh, we, we were talking just a bit off camera earlier. The uh, the fact that they, they actually changed the logo to white, yeah, rather than just slap a normal logo on it, I think adds a lot because it really contrasts against that blue. I just, I think, to, to my knowledge, they never used this jersey before this, it's no. not like. And I think... And they've never used it since. Yeah. They used it for one game. So it just proves a that... Yeah. It. it just proves that... Montreal jerseys don't have to be boring. They yeah, just choose and to make they've put thought into the... You know, a lot of the time, like... I mean, you could argue with the new Kachina alternate, you know, they're not really doing much there. They're just going to what they had. This, you know, obviously this is a bit of a, a nod to the past. But then they've changed the logo. They've never used... I just think it's unreal. So, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I was saying to Dan, I reckon this is the best hockey jersey ever. League, sorry, National Hockey League jersey ever. Um, so yeah, there's my opinion. Should you want to. Right, so Dan, you've always got a big collection. You reckon about 35, 40? 30, 30, I think you brought me one today uh, that I wanted. Um, so about, I'd say about 39, um, which is, compared to some of you watching this, Paul, hello, if you're there, <laughs> uh, is nothing compared to what some of our followers I've I've got, but it's, um, I've only been collecting really for about two two years. So I think what will shock a lot of people, obviously I run this mostly. I've only probably only got about 10 jerseys in my own collection because my collection and what's for sale is so blurred. Yeah. There's a few jerseys I've got in my head that I want. So that brings me on to your next question. If you've got any jerseys on the mind that you want to, because obviously you, you're trying to do the same as me, all 32 teams, cool. obviously when Seattle comes when in. Seattle comes in. Um, so is there any your kind of that are at the top of your list to get? Yeah, there are. But I have, I have this problem where I have three favourite teams. Uh, yeah. One, the main, my main team is the Senators, and they are by far my favourite team. But I also like Vancouver, hence the Vancouver jerseys. I also like uh, Colorado. Colorado. Which you've got. I've got one. Um, so I do want to get all 32 teams, but I have this habit of I keep buying the same the teams team, yeah. that I like different jerseys. So three that I definitely want. So on the old black Senators third with the gold striping and the old Centurion head with the uh, scary looking eyes. That's the, it's almost like, you know, vectors on motorways, isn't it? Like yeah, V's it's along got the black V's and then gold, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, sparkly yeah. gold, almost quite Vegas looking, so yeah. I would say, but obviously they, they were, I think they were our third from 2000 to 2007, I want to say something that's not on that. Um, so I want that one. I also want the white O, but that's, that's tough that's, to get. Yeah, that's not a. That might be one of the ones you walk into a vintage shop and you've got it for 20 quid because you don't know what they've got. Yeah, because they are very hard to find. I've even spoken to people in Canada where I used to live and they're like, you know, you're not to work. They're like, we can't. No. 
people I've never seen one in person. Um, maybe once in a game, someone has one on, but not very often. Uh, the current Senate is third, which is the Red O with the Silver. Silver outline, that's um, cool. The Red OJ with the Silver. I mean, it's it's okay. It's, it's not yeah. a favourite, uh, but it's a Senate's jersey, so we don't want it. Yeah. Um, the other ones I quite want, I want the Flyers with the Classic. Great which I know you've just bought, because yeah. I haven't got a Philly one yet, so that would be another addition. I think the thing with Flyers is, most of their jerseys are boring. Yeah. They've, they've basically, they've used the same colours since they've been the team. And there is no such thing as an alternate logo. No, there's never, they obviously had that weird like 3D logo for about a year. But the Winter Classic, I think it's just the most different. It's the, of all the ones I've seen, it's the only one that I'm like, yes, I want that. Yeah. So which, which was the same, to be honest, with Montreal. Because yeah, I saw yeah, that yeah. one, it was like, if I'm buying a Montreal jersey, it's going to be that one. Same so obviously Flyers. Flyers have done, the Winter Classic was banging. Then obviously they did like the stadium series. And we won't talk about that. Didn't like either of those stadium no. series against Pittsburgh. Uh, that was okay, but uh, we didn't win it, so I don't want it because why buy a jersey didn't win it? Yeah, exactly. And um, then any other NHLs? Yeah, the Col Col uh, Colorado current third, the triangle, the old Brock used throw. Yeah, so that's like it's the state flag, which is like a triangle. It's got like a C, the C with a circle, and the dot. But yeah, it's got the triangle and it's got a different colour scheme. It's basically the Rockies with the current colours, which I it's okay. I really like it. I know you're not. I, I I prefer the Rockies, but I see what they've done. It's my favourite looking jersey in the league at the moment. Oh. Um, that's a big statement. Big statement considering that's in the league at the moment. Yeah. Um, but it's not in white. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, that I really want that one. Um, again, they're, they're a little bit hard to find for uh, decent. What price. I, I would call a reasonable price, especially with the uh, what's going on. For some moment. reason, like the alternates are very expensive. <laughs> yeah, even though like same with football, you know. Mm. You know, the third jersey. Man U green and yellow is so hard to get hold of, but nowadays most people buy the old, like, the third kit. It's because people want things that are unusual. They don't yeah. want something you're going to see. But back then they didn't. No. So it's very strange, very strange. And then a lower league team I want to get, but the problem with these is they don't come up very often and they're very expensive to buy new, is uh, the current Ottawa 67's full barber pole. Yeah. Striped all over. So that's it's similar that. to the one we showed there, but all like the way through. It's yeah. just striped, 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 striped. Strip, 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 strip. So that's the, what, OHL is it? Yeah, yeah, Ontario Hockey League. So that's junior level. I imagine they've got a lot of people that... Yeah, we saw Stamkos play against them once. Because yeah. Stamkos played for the Sarnia Sting when we went to go see the And someone play. there at the minute is picked to go top five. Rossi. Rossi. Yeah. Rossi, is, is, he's a centre and he's going he's gonna to go top five in the draft, I think. I Maybe think to he's, Ottawa. Possibly, I think he'll go to Detroit personally, but we'll wait and see on that one. <laughs> we will be doing draft coverage, can we? Yes, we will be doing that. So... That's so they're some of the ones, I mean there's plenty I want, but they're the ones I can think of the top of my head that I definitely, if I saw now, would buy instantly, even though I have basically no budget to do that, but... <laughs> Fingers crossed. So obviously <laughs> obviously you've said you, you're trying to go for all 32, obviously Seattle, we can't do it at the minute, yeah. but once it comes into it, you, yeah. you might find a way or whatever. Um, obviously you're not, Toronto's probably going to be the last one you Toronto get. will be the last jersey I buy of any Is team. there any others that you're... You know, obviously you dislike Toronto because it's whole Ontario division blah, 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 blah. And, and, and the um, well, we won't talk about it the media you, you have like a reason Toronto. not to like them is there any teams that maybe you don't dislike you just you're not asked about getting so for example for me Come I know on. you've already got one you've got a Dallas one already yeah um, when I'm doing it that's probably going to be one of the last unless I find a Mooterus for a good price yeah. I'm not going to... It's a good question. Is there any team that you just like, whatever? Columbus. Columbus, yeah. Quite hard to get hold of, though, to be fair. Because, again, they're newer. They're boring. I mean, I, I, mean I, I like Columbus as a team, but they're not a jersey that I'm going to run out from my way to go and buy. Um, and it's, again, obviously, because depending on where you're watching this, you might be thinking, oh, it's well easy to get a Columbus jersey. If you're watching this in the US... Yeah, mate. Probably. The UK is hard because over here, <laughs> not so much. You they're find. one of the newer franchises outside of. And they're one of the less known franchises. Yeah. So that it becomes even even more even harder. Like you, you, you've got a wild one going up on site in minutes, half an hour, essentially. <laughs> thirty-five minutes. Um, they're ironically number thirty-five. Almost impossible they're, they're to find. Hard over. To get off. Ironically, I've only I've only ever had three. Yeah. And two have had Fernandez thirty-five. Like, he was a goal. I think he was their first ever goaltender or whatever. But that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, so I'd say Columbus. I mean, I wouldn't have bought that Dallas one. Uh, if it wasn't me. I would have given it to you. Yeah. Um, so there was, there was that Dallas one. Um, Columbus. I mean, I do actually quite like Minnesota jerseys. I do as well. I love the back. So I would actually probably 
consider getting them in a Sutter jersey if I saw one for a reasonable price that I, that I sort of could afford. Um, that's a good question. Um, Nashville, unless it was one of the blue ones, similar to the one that's going live again in half an hour. No, that's not going. Is that not? No, no, that's that's, that's a different day. So that's coming. Yeah. Well, it might be going live in half an hour. I don't see this. Oh yeah. If you're watching this on probably Friday the 25th of September, I think, it's going live in half an hour. Uh, at 4 30. <laughs> Florida. I quite like Florida as well, to be fair. It's probably another team that I wouldn't really. A broken stick, I'm a big fan. Be that arsed about until it came to like, I need to get this team out of finished collections. One team I do want to get soon is the San Jose one. Yeah. They're surprisingly hard to find. You would think they would be easier. Because They're easy in small sizes. Yeah, not in big. But big sizes. Because I think it's one of the sizes at the moment that I really like, but again, it's a size small. It's a size small, yeah. It's one of the teams where. Don't know why, but whenever I sell them, it's always to a female. Um, which is interesting. That's all. Yeah. Anyway, so that's your jersey collection. You'll do an intro in a second, which will come, but thanks for moving around. So, um, um, some great jerseys. I look forward to next time when you've got the Flyers Stadium. No, not Steve, sorry, winner, sorry. Winner, winner classic. classic. On the wall, replace no, Senators. It wouldn't replace Senators, it would no. probably replace Flames. that Calgary one, I think. Yeah. Or that Vancouver one. So, and that's, a, that's an honourable mention, by the way, that hasn't come off the wall, but that Flames one I love. Flames great, because the, the, the striping is just nuts. That, well, it showed that in B roll. Yeah, the striping is just nuts on that, like yeah. anything else. Unlike anything else. Alright, oh, cheers for watching guys, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that lovely YouTube stuff, uh, let us know what is your favourite from the jerseys that I own, and um, let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see on this channel in the future, because we're very open to ideas.